I was asked to balance this equation CO2 plus H2O gives us a C6H12O6 plus O2 plus H2O. So let's give it a try here. So the first thing when we balance equations like this, we count the atoms up. One carbon, two oxygens, don't forget the one with water. That gives us three and two hydrogens. Product side, six carbons, oxygen, six plus two plus the one here. So we have nine oxygen atoms. And hydrogen, we have 12. And don't forget the two here with water. So that's what makes this kind of difficult. We have these oxygens spread out across the molecule. We have oxygens here and here. So for that reason, we'll balance oxygen last. Let's do carbon. Put a six here, one times six. That gives us six of those. We can update the oxygens here. We have 12, six times two is 12 plus the one. Now we have 13. Let's try to update the hydrogens. We could put a seven right here, two times seven. That would give us 14. That would be good, but now we need to update these oxygens again. So we have six times two is 12 plus seven times the one. That gives us 19. And here's the way to think about this. Let's get rid of this right here. Six plus some number plus the one here and the water, that equals 19. So 6 plus 12, that would be 18 plus 1, that would equal 19. So how do we get 12 oxygens up here? Since we have oxygen by itself and we put a 6 here, 2 times 6, that gives us the 12. This equation is balanced. By putting the 6 here, it won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. That's why we left that until last. So that's the balanced equation for CO2 plus H2O yields C6H12O6 plus O2 plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.